It's time to play the game. Hey, let's play. Hey, let's stream. We're playing some uh, more SmackDown vs. Raw 2009 with uh, yours truly, your lovely host, here they call me. In the last, uh, I guess, stream, we did uh, CM Punk. We've done uh, John, I was going to say John Cena. Wow, we've done Chris Jericho. Uh, Batista and Mysterio and CM Punk. So now we're going to move on to Triple H. And uh, we'll see what uh, the story mode holds for him. Right now you play it. When if you can make it. Yeah, I'm planning to do every road to WrestleMania on each SVR. Hopefully. As long as I can get the games. I am heavy debt. No way you can pay me. I am the game and I know you can't take me. Over your shoulder, get ready to run. Smoking game. All right, hurry up. I don't want to get copyrighted off the ass because of Motorhead. Jeez. <laughs> don't you forget that there's a place you can pay because I am the game and I love to play. There is one measuring stick in this business. Me, Triple H. I've had more gold around my waist than almost anyone on the planet. I've led two of the most famous factions in history. I've been down the road to WrestleMania countless times. But this time, you've got control. It's time to play the game. Oh shit, Doug. All right, so the first Raw. Find out what kind of story we have to unfold tonight in New York, New York. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live as Raw emanates from New York City. Jim Ross and Jerry the King Lawler welcoming you to another exciting night of sports entertainment. We're officially on the road to WrestleMania, JR. This is my favorite time of the year. Our main event is going to pit three great superstars against one another to see just who is the number one contender for Randy Orton's WWE Championship. Orton's been on such a roll, that's like getting to be the first camp in line at the slaughterhouse. Oh, God. This is terrible looking. I'm here with the game, Triple H. Triple H, you have an important match tonight against Edge and Mr. Kennedy. Do you feel confident? Maria, do you know who I am? You're Triple H. Do you know what I do? Um, you wrestle? <laughs> this face. I win matches. I win <laughs> championships. Nobody is better. I am the king of kings and I reign over the WWE. Kennedy and Edge, they're not in my league. They're just stepping stones. And tonight, I get one step closer to the WWE Championship. Why is Edge so much taller than me? Sure about that, Triple H. You may get impaled. He's like two feet taller than me. If I were you, <laughs> I would have done it. And not just talked about it. No, they're both around the same size, right? I'm not losing my shit. They're both like 6'3"-ish, I want to say. Edge interrupted my time. Running his mouth. If I could pin him tonight, I should be able to shut him up. All right, so pin Edge. All right, so I got a pin Edge. Missed him. Oh, I got the running knee lift, so uh, that is going to be OP as balls, if anyone remembers the running knee lift from earlier games. Back when, like, SmackDown and WWE games became, like, online that was the mo the cheesiest move in the history of mankind you can fly across the ring doing it it does so much damage hey mr kennedy the pedigree first yep. fly knee completely misses good old rick flair s chop mr kennedy's already in orange <laughs> oh missed him wow mr kennedy tried to flip and bro kick me I don't think so. You have a back suplex, though. Ouch. 
I'm gonna save my signature, why not? Running into the chop block is what I did. Yep. Cheesiest moves, man. I tell you. I should have the spine buster, right? Apparently not. Okay. I guess it's just a basic. Oh, oh, oh shit. Mr. Kennedy, if you could just, you know, F off and let me do what I want to do here, that'd be lovely. Oh, he slapped the slapped his bitch ass. Alright, well, I guess I'm gonna spine buster you because you keep getting in my way. And the game hits the pedigree. Boosh! <laughs> oh, okay, I have a tackle and punches. Interesting. I was not expecting that. See, this is the thing, Kirby. Like in these, like earlier games, a lot more, a lot more arcadey. Oh, I knocked him out. I might as well get the sledgehammer, right? Well, no, here. If I could pick it up, there we go. Oh, that's not the sledgehammer. Oh well, I'll still use it. Yeah, how do you like them apples? I hit you with a barbed wire bat or two by four, I guess. Yeah, things are like this. It's like you're playing with. You're playing with the like superstars of the game, so your stats are you know OP as fuck. It's not like you're playing micro in the newer games where you know you're like a 60 overall and you can't do any damage. It's pretty much you know it takes like two seconds to get anything. Oh, I busted him open. I busted both of them open. And uh, one more pedigree just uh, for good measure here. Get rid of you for now. That should be enough for the win. One, two. He kicked out because, you know, why wouldn't he? Damn it, ref. High knee lift. High knee lift. <laughs> Try to pin him off the knee lift. Why not? One, two. Nope. Issues with... Uh, Big time punch. Uh, one more pedigree. Smack him with it. The high knee didn't connect quite right. There we go. Okay. This should be enough. Come on, ref. There we go. Three pedigrees. Jeez. That was simple. Now to uh, beat up on uh, the Legend Killer. Alright, so uh, what do we got? So we unlocked preset move three. Mm, okay. It looks like the rock, because I could see him doing the just bring it taunt. Alright, so once again, back on Raw with the Super Pyro Show. Kind of gets uh, annoying seeing that pyro go off every time. I wish I would just skip right to uh, Jerry Lawler and then uh, the King. I mean, Jim Ross. Actually, you know, I pretty much beat both of you up last week in like a handicap match technically, so this time it's going to be even easier. Alright, well I gotta face both of them at the same time. Oh no. Stop no-selling no my knee lifts. Alright, running knee lift. <laughs> running knee lift. There's going to be a lot of running knee lifts in this playthrough, guys. Just letting you know. No, the turn. Thank you. Pedigree to Ken Kennedy. Oosh. There we go. Running knee lifts. 
I don't know if I'll get a pin off of him, but I'll try. Rope break, so I guess not. Knee lift. <laughs> knee lift. It's so cheesy. I love it. It's such a quick move and it does so much damage. Oh, the reversal by Edge. What do you think you are? Knee lift to the ref. <laughs> to the outside of the ring. If he's looking for a weapon, he's in the right place. <laughs> Beat him to death. He's certainly not showing his opponent any mercy here tonight. There you go. Next week, the game faces Randy Orton. All right, let's hit him with the actual WWE maneuver here. Besides a knee lift. Next week, tonight, oh, gut buster. Nasty. Excuse me? Oh, shit. Look at that Green Bay plunge. Get off me. Oh, reverse DDT. All right. Let's take him down. Big time DDT. Drop him right on the skull. Uh, I'm going to hold it. Oh, yeah. Mr. Kennedy using, the, using his smarts there to break it up. Woo. 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 All right. Another pedigree for Edge. Enjoy it. I busted them both open again. I'm gonna pin Edge again, just for you, Kirby. One, two. Oh, he kicked out. What a bitch. How did he kick out? Are you kidding me? It's a pedigree. No one kicks out of the pedigree. There we go. Alright, get up. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do, but whatever. Neela City. <laughs> Ah, back body toss. Alright, pin. There's the pin. One, two, three. Yeah, Mr. Kennedy's a weak little bitch. That's all she wrote. Oh shit. Big time fist attacks. He's teeing off. Oh. Too much to handle apparently. I won the match. Uh oh, it's the game changer, the equalizer. Nothing evens the odds like a sledgehammer. Game got under the spine, but with nobody to watch his back, there may be more trouble. And soon. Never liked the sledgehammer. That's a weapon that should kill somebody if you hit him with it. <laughs> 